I think I've come to love the fact that our definition of love isn't static anymore. And the more I, you know, get aware or become more aware of the things around me and the things I do, it changes how I look at love in itself and even the privilege of having to be able to love things or people or ideas. I never imagined for the life of me, even though I dreamed of it, that I would be sitting here doing something I love, doing something I dreamed of replicating when I first saw it. I chance, no, I didn't chance. I was privileged to participate in this Twitter chat um, a couple of days ago and we spoke about a lot of things and privilege was one of them that came up and before i even go into describing what privilege is uh, or the perspectives that i got or the enlightenment i got from this twitter chat i often get this question about my career in radio and whether it was because i fell out of love with radio and that's why i quit and decided to do um, what i'm doing now in film and in voiceovers. And I, I think about it and I realize that it's not the fact that I actually fell out of love with radio. I more fell in love with storytelling, with what is out there, the, the, the unlimited possibilities of telling stories, of seeing things come to life. And I was privileged before that to actually have some kind of training, some kind of experience in uh, 2018 when I visited the Netherlands and thinking back to all these things and how I was able to afford or the privilege to leave something I've been doing for seven years to eight years to actually follow another thing to, to follow something I loved and not knowing where it will go it's just truly powerful and on a Tuesday like this in an like on a Tuesday afternoon, I'm sitting here in, in a forest or, yeah, in the city, in the park. And I'm able to speak to you like this about the power of privilege. Coming to the Twitter Spaces conversation that I was, you know, again, using the word privilege, privilege to be a part of. I realized that, well, the people there spoke about privilege in choice and first of all when we talk about privilege people often relate privilege to only uh, wealth and opportunity that comes with being wealthy or having a certain status but we don't often pay attention to the privilege of choice the privilege of thought the privilege of you being a creative person the privilege of time that you're young the privilege of adaptability or your ability to adapt, the privilege of skill and growing skill and all these things that contribute to giving you an edge when it comes to what you want to do or the things you dream of. And so when we often complain and think that things around us aren't moving as fast as we wanted to because we're concentrating more on uh, what we want to get, where we want to go, and the results rather than how we're even able to do the things we do in the first place. And it just dawned on me that, wow, I mean, I can do what I'm doing now because of a standpoint to some degree of privilege. It is actually privilege. And I have the time to do these things. I have the ideas to do these things. I have grown the skill, even though you don't realize it, it's, it's slow, and you don't often see how far you've come until you're able to do certain things so easy and you realize that, oh, so this is what it's always been. Privilege to live the way you want to live. And that is what I wanted to share, especially now that um, my channel has been, uh, has qualified into the YouTube Partner Program and i had been concentrating so much on the journey so far and how long it had taken 
um, looking around me when I have, you know, friends and other co-creators making the mark earlier than I was. And I was thinking, but I, what, what is wrong with mine? Why am I not getting the chance to also have mine, you know, get to the point quickly? And neglecting the fact that I'm able, even, I'm able to even do this in the first place, to sit here and talk to you and offer this perspective for you to listen to. And it's a privilege to come your way, the privilege to create, the privilege to engage you. And it's often something we neglect. And I hope that when we think of where we are, where we're going, and how we get there, that we remember that we're privileged to even be on that journey. And when we think of it that way, it, it often, you know, gives us a better perspective in, you know, mentally helping us see things much more differently when we start to complain about some of the things that we don't have. I'm privileged to have the support of you, of the people around me. I'm privileged to have different streams or, yeah, not the one stream of income. I'm privileged to choose what um, creative endeavors I pursue. All of this without, you know, the struggle of some other things that would have hindered another person who didn't have the privilege of chance to even get to the point where I am. So I'm really, really, really grateful for this privilege that I haven't afforded. Yes, humans are always going to be humans and we're going to have this insatiable want for so much more all the time. However, I think that in looking back, I mean, I'm not even going to promise or say that I'm going to remember this. So maybe this, even, th even this recording is good enough for the fact that if I look at this video, I can constantly remind myself that yes, I'm privileged to even do these things and appreciate it even more. So in looking back, if I had seen this where I am now as a journey to be appreciated and not fuss, it would have made so much difference. And so if you acknowledge your privilege or even realize it, I want you to lean into it. All the things, all the little things that are around you that you take for granted lean into it and see how far they get you even though you don't notice it and that's basically what i want to share with you today the power of privilege that we all have and should not abuse because the power of privilege can also get into your head if you get to know it or get to acknowledge it to the point where you know your privilege affords you certain advantages that you, you tend to want to abuse. When it gets to the point of power, power can get you drunk and then you abuse your privilege. When you're in a certain position, I hope that you also remember that you have that privilege because of, you know, certain things that have happened around you or certain conditions that have led to it and that you don't abuse it and think also or judge others for not being able to do what you're doing to the certain level you're doing it because you think it should be just, can't you see I'm doing it? You should do it. No, I think you should also be kind to others when you think of the power of the privilege that you have. So I'm basically rambling here at the Legon Botanical Gardens and I'm privileged to have the help of Raymond manning the camera for me because I couldn't be sitting here <laughs> knowing that I'm in focus or the lighting and everything is fine. It might be a bit, yeah, overcast, but I'm even privileged that it's not raining. So it's a beautiful thing that I want to share with you guys. Yeah. If you like this video and many more that will come your way, I think you should hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And yeah. I'll bring more videos your way based on my privilege to create. Hopefully I can even create more of the documentaries that I often introduce myself as. Hi, I'm Kwame, I'm a documentary filmmaker and the voice of artists. 
I think I would lean more into that privilege of being able to create those documentaries and tell the stories the way I would do and put them right here for you to watch and enjoy and uh, grow together. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.